a strong gust of wind came in and then there was darkness that fell over the land. Hey guys, welcome back to Santo Suerte Healing. It's Al here. If you are new to this channel, welcome. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I am a two-spirited bruje, a psychic medium, tarot reader, and I am now being trained to be a full-spectrum doula. So yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for subscribing and being on this journey with me and offering me support. You know the deal. Today's video is a DIY plant magic, and it's going to be all about womb steams, yoni steams, bit steams. Um, you know, for those of us that are gender non-conforming, non-binary, we don't identify with having a womb, you know, gonna try to make this as gender inclusive as I can. <laughs> so for those that don't know, bit steams, yoni steams, or womb steams are a practice, it's a very ancient practice. This is nothing new age, because again, there is nothing new age. There will never be nothing new age. <laughs> Everything has been a part of history, has been a part of cultures for thousands of years. Goodbye. Tully left us. Okay, <laughs> so what are what are bit steams? So bit steams are when you take herbs that are beneficial for your genital area and you add hot water over it and give it a nice good stir and then you steam, you literally will either sit over um, the bowl or squat over the bowl for 10 to 20 minutes and what this is doing is that this allows for the natural essential oils to be released and for the steam to cleanse and help cleanse clear out any sort of infections any sort of yuckiness um, if you do identify with having a womb this is also very beneficial for your menstrual cycles this helps with releasing any fibroids that might be growing or might be trying to form inside of your inside of your uterus this is going to help with clearing out any excess material that was not released in your past cycle it's helping prepare your uterus for your next cycle and this is very beneficial if you have very painful cycles, if you have very heavy flows. This practice, if you do it on a weekly basis um, with excluding the week that you are bleeding, you'll notice that it will help not only improve your symptoms, your PMS symptoms, but it'll also help improve your actual menstrual cycle. You might not be having cramps as severely. Your flow, even though if it's still heavy, it might not feel as, I mean, let's face it, a heavy flow is just, it's never fun. <laughs> but it won't actually feel like it's heavy. You know, you won't feel so much saturation happening. If you are someone that has very, very severe PMS symptoms, this will help you with PMS symptoms. If you're someone that has an inconsistent flow, this will help bring consistency to your flow. For me, when I wasn't doing bit steams, you know, I would say that my cycles were really only, like I would have PMS symptoms for three weeks and I would be feeling bloated, I would retain a lot of water, I would feel nauseous, and I just would not feel good about myself for three weeks, and then I would bleed for one day, maybe two days if I was lucky, and then that was it. And I often would get a lot of yeast infections before my cycle and after my cycle. And since I started doing bit steams, I do them every week. If you guys want to see my weekly self-care routine, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below, and that's another video I can make for another time. Don't get sidetracked, Al. Don't get sidetracked. We're not going into a million different stories. <sighs> but back to what we were talking about. <laughs> when I finally started doing weekly steams, I noticed that my flow became more consistent. I am now able to bleed for three to four days. I noticed that my ovulation cycle is very much more healthy. Um, I also noticed that my PMS it improved to where I don't really get cramps that often anymore. If I am bloated, it's usually for like maybe three days, a week minimum, but I usually only feel my PMS symptoms 
the week before my cycle. So it, it's actually helping improve my cycle. And I am someone that, you know, because I've always had irregular cycles, I struggle with severe, um, severe yeast infection. And so this has been helping me a lot with combating that along with changing my diet, exercising more, more regularly, and creating a better routine for myself has helped out a lot. And I also love the ritual of doing a steam because it allows me to slow down. It allows me to sit with what's coming up and it's literally opening up a portal for me to connect into my inner, my inner priestess, my, high, my higher priestess and my highest self. And you know, this is times when I like to journal. This is times when I like to write poetry. This is times when I like to connect to my guides, to my angels, whoever it is that's coming through. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the, a very basic blend that I started working with and one that I still love coming back to. And I'll show you two different ways how you can do steams. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, sorry about the clanking noise in the back. It's laundry day. To be honest, I feel like the past three days have been laundry day, but I digress. The reason why we use glass bowls rather than metal bowls, copper bowls, or even plastic bowls, well, one, if we're talking about metal and copper, those are conductive materials. So if you add hot water to it and then try picking it up and steaming over it, the heat is going to transfer and it's, if you touch it, you're automatically going to get burned. We don't want to be burned in this process. With plastic, we never know if plastic contains BPA and we're not really wanting to release that and allow that to run in, to go into our genital area because again, BPA leads to cancer. So glass bowls, it allows for the heat to really stay in the only in one place. So it'll allow you to actually squat over it and kind of be in a little bit more of a comfortable position, you know? It's like, also for the, for the magical purposes of glass, glass is transparent. And so whatever is being placed in here is what's getting put out, you know? It, I love working with glass bowls. Um, I have two glass bowls here and these are for two different methods. For the smaller bowl, I like to use a smaller bowl if I'm doing the squatting method and I like to use the bigger bowl if I'm putting it in my toilet. So the blend I'm going to be showing you guys is a little bit more on the feminine side, but all of these herbs are beneficial for uterine health and it's going to contain rose buds, jasmine buds, red raspberry leaf, spearmint, hawthorn leaves, and calendula. I typically will add one to two big pinches of each item, depending on what my intuition is telling me, and I will well incorporate it together, meditating over it, really placing my intentions of what I'm wanting to get out of my steam, giving thanks to the herbs that I'm using, offer a little bit of my own air, and I'll add about two to two and a half cups of water to the mixture, give it a nice good stir, and then I will place a big plate over it to transfer it into my toilet. But before I show you guys the toilet method, I'm gonna show you guys the squatting method first. The squatting method is the most traditional method when it comes to genital steaming. You're gonna to wanna to create an area out of clean towels, clean pillows, wherever you have available for you. And it's advised that you wear a large skirt like the one I'm wearing. So it'll act as a tent to keep the steam enclosed. Now, if you feel that the steam is hitting your butt, then you're gonna wanna move it up because it's positioned too far back. If you feel that it's still not hitting your genitals and it might be positioned too far up. So kind of play around until you actually feel it hit your genital area. Now, because you are going to be on your knees for quite some time, after your steam is done, just sit down, roll your feet around, allow that circulation to come back into your feet before standing up. Now, with the toilet method, you want to make sure that you clean your toilet before you place your herbs in there, which I've already done. And very similar to the squatting method, creating a tent around your toilet so that steam stays enclosed. 
I really like to use this time to just come to my breath, really open up my chakras, be grounded, start paying attention to what energy I'm carrying in my body. If I feel that there is some tension in my shoulders or even in my neck, I'll just kind of do some neck rolls, releasing that tension, really listening to my body and coming in tune with my body at this time on what it's needing. What is it telling me? This is also a time where I will, you know, massage my breast uh, with some oil or I'll even have my journal with me. And I'll just be writing down whatever messages, affirmations, prayers are coming through from my highest self, my spirit team, or my ancestors. My dogs love this time, and so right now you can tell that Tully is a little jealous that Dina's getting to sit up high with me, and she's just wanting some love. So being a dog mom, I gotta share that equally between them. You know how that is. <laughs> and then once I'm done with my steam, I will just get up, and I will lift my bowl out of the toilet. You'll know that your steam is done when all of the flowers are translucent. And if your bowl is still warm, let it cool down before you discard it. All right, because I was unable to do this during my steam, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now. But this is the Lymphatic Bliss Make It Hot Titty Oil that was made by Moon of Aphrodite's uh, apothecary and it has vanilla cinnamon rose ginger and red clover and so this is to help with circulation in the lymphatic the lymphatic system that's within the breast and I've been putting this on every day for about a week now and I've noticed that it has helped um, I'm going to do them both at the same time. I've noticed that it's helped with not only making my breast feel a lot more firm because I'm massaging them every day, um, but also I've noticed that it's helped a lot with like the tissue buildup that I tend to get. Um, and that's again, it's just during my cycles, I sometimes I don't get enough production of estrogen and then the next cycle I'll get an overproduction of estrogen. So it's very hard for my body to regulate that and some cycles I'll have tissue buildup and it's very painful. So this is also one of the reasons. It's something that I've been dealing with and I've had, I've gotten checked out multiple times. I've gotten mammograms done, I've gotten ultrasounds done to make sure it wasn't cancerous. And it's not cancerous, it's just, it's, it is what it is apparently for my body. So whenever I saw this, I had reached out to her and you know I went ahead and I got both of them because there's a keep it cool and a make it hot and so the make it hot one is supposed to help with circulation and then the keep it cool one is supposed to help with inflammation so I used the keep it cool one during my cycles like the week of my cycle and then my ovulation and then every day I use the make it hot one and I only use one dropper of it and I just I massage it in as I'm doing right now that you're probably seeing. Go ahead and check out Moon of Aphrodite on Instagram. So this is the lymphatic keeping it cool. And it has violet flower, lavender, rose, and calendula. And then this is the make it hot. You want to wait for your for your steam mixture to completely cool down before you discard it. And a really great way for you to discard it is just take it outside, toss it on the ground, and toss it onto some trees that are neighboring near you. Because this is food for them as well. And what comes from the earth, you give back to the earth and you're just helping create that sustainability. You're helping with reducing waste. 
Um, and this w it is biodegradable, so it will break down. It's, it's also just nice to kind of like walk barefooted after you've opened this portal, connect with the earth, and then feed the earth what was given to you by the earth. But it's been raining very, it's been raining like almost every day. I think today is the first day that it hasn't rained and the ground is very, very moist. So I don't really want to give this to any of the trees or any of the plants and overwater them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go give this to some rock elders and that way whenever I pour it over them, it's going to help with kind of dividing it up and it'll flow where it needs to flow, but also rocks need love too. You know, they are living just like us, so let's go ahead and do that. It's like 74 outside and it feels really amazing. It's very gloomy, overcast, perfect day. So that's how I do my bit steams, my womb steams, my yoni steams, whatever you identify with, whatever you like to call it. After you do your steam, I generally like to recommend for you to allow yourself to air dry rather than pat yourself down to dry, is to allow whatever condensation is still in your, in your genital area to allow it to sit there because again it's going to have those essential oils in it and so it really just kind of allows for your skin to take that in um i didn't say when i was making the mix i would recommend using one tablespoon to two tablespoons you can also eyeball it you don't want to fill your bowl like halfway um that's just that's way too much if you want to go ahead and make in bulk you can make in bulk which is just buying like you know one ounce of each two ounces of each kind of cr mixing them in together setting your intentions with it and then have like storing it in a glass jar and just taking one tablespoon out and then two cups of water over it you're more than welcome to do that i don't like making in bulk just because i really like the process of making it every time because sometimes you know my intuition is telling me you need more calendula this time around so I'll add more calendula or if I'm needing more spearmint then I'll add more spearmint so I really like to listen to my intuition whenever I'm making a mix each week and which is why I like to do it every time that I'm doing it um, you know i recommend doing it every week but if this is something that's new to you you can do it twice a month and it's still beneficial you don't want to do it the week that you are bleeding and that's just because you're allowing for your air you're allowing for that genital area to clean itself out to release all that it's needing to release um, which is why I also like to free bleed as well. If you guys want to know a little bit more on why I free bleed, go ahead, let me know in the comment section down below. I can make a video for that as well. Uh, stay tuned for the vlog of our honeymoon and me finally getting out of Texas <laughs> for the first time ever. I mean, I've left once before, but like I didn't really count it because I was only in Florida for like a day and then I came back. Um, and so this time we'll be gone for a week. So. I'm excited if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up that lets me know that you want more content like this let me know in the comment section down below what you learned which resonated what you want to see next and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel go ahead hit that subscribe button ring the bell for notifications so you know when new releases come out and follow me on Instagram and on Facebook if you haven't already so bye guys I'll see you next time